Welcome to the Potter Blog site, April 18, 2013. Well, we have radioactive rainwater leaking into our basement. How do I know this? Well, I checked our uh, live indoor and outdoor radiation monitors. On the left is the outdoor, on the right is the indoor. And let me full screen this here real quick so you can get a better view. If you notice, right around uh, 7 a.m., the indoor radiation started climbing steadily. If we look at the outdoor radiation, you can see there was a jump in radiation starting around 6 o'clock in the morning. That's when the rain started heavily. And it's been keeping steady. It's not the greatest amount of radiation we've ever had since Fukushima uh, coming down our rain, but uh, it's still higher than I would like. Zoom this down. I'll show you quickly on the same on our live radiation page. We maintain uh, some weather information so you can see the fallout, jet stream, uh, local weather. You can see the wet, the rain's definitely over us. And zoomed in again, definitely rain, definitely coming over us. Uh, I'm getting ready to show you here pictures of the leak in the basement. Uh, fix was supposedly a lifetime. So we'll see if they honor their warranty. Uh, but uh, the reason I went down to the basement to check is because our indoor radiation monitor is climbing sky high. Slightly concerning. We haven't seen this behavior before, even though we've had uh, gone through several rainstorms already. So the moral of the story is you do not want radioactive rainwater getting into your house. Next, I'll uh, show you some pictures of the basement. Ooh, well, that's not good at all. Let's see, it's got the stairs wet. We've got this chair wet here. Last time I didn't. Before we had this fixed, it didn't get the stairs wet. Now, for some reason, it is getting the stairs wet. So this needs to be fixed. 